hello friends welcome to our channel and today is the topic is time card for employee and here you can see the data i have already made for you and in this you can see the total monthly pay and we have made the first certain sections like date time in and the time out uh, the break time and the remaining which we have to fill out and this is all what we learned today here you can see the time in and time out function and in this we'll just calculate the working time from the time out and time in and how we can use it first we use here the formula for working time in which we just include the time in time out and the break time function like what i have to do first i have to write uh, equals to and bracket open then time out then subtract the time in close the bracket and then break time which is allocated so we will get the working time total and in this you can see i just wrote the functions and we will get the total working time now just drag down for the remaining cells now other functions we have is overtime in the overtime we will just calculate like we have given the time out is 18th but if the person is doing more than 18th or 6 o'clock then it will be cut included in the tie over time so we just use your if function like if bracket open we'll just calculate the working time then subtract time and in this we just give the format of 800 and then if it's less than zero equals to zero and else we just use the same functions like we just write here f9 minus time and in the time we just use the same format like hours and then zero minutes and zero seconds like if the working time is less than zero it should be zero else it should calculate the remaining values so it will give the whole formula here and time in is the uh, basic format so i just press here enter so we will get the overtime from the total working time like time out and break time and then working time now i just need to drag it down for the remaining functions here you can see now pay day wage like how much wage a person gets so by default we just use your 900 dollar so i just track it down for 900 dollars now regular payment for the regular payment we use a function like if the person is doing uh, less than a uh, half time so he will give, be given half salary or if he is completed his number of hours then he will be given full pay wage so i just use if function if and then i just use if working time f9 greater than equals to time which is our 8 hour 0 minutes and 0 seconds complete comma and here we just write here comma and then we just write here h9 means pay wage if it's greater than or equal to pay wage which means 900 and again use else and in the else we just use again function which is comma and if bracket open and in this we use and which means true functions like if f9 or f9 is our column working less than time and which means we use two functions in the end first one is if f9 less than time and 
f nine greater than equals to time four zero zero. It means if its uh, time is greater than eight hours, but less than eight hours, but greater than four hours, then we will just just use pay wage, which is h nine divide by two, which means half. Or else zero then just close the bracket now just elaborate if f9 greater than time which means if our f9 of our working time is greater than 8 o'clock then we will give p wage which is h9 else in the else function we use two functions in the end like if f9 is less than 8 hours but it's greater than 4 hours then we will just give pay wage half which is h9 divide by 2 this is the whole function and here you can see the divide by 2 for the less than 8 hours and then just write your enter so we will get 900 which means it has completed or the person has completed its working time now just scroll down and in the scroll down here you can see uh, half pay it means the person has not completed his 8 hours and here you can see the total timeout is given 8 hours if the person is doing less than 8 hours so his page will be half and here you can see the half function I already mentioned in it now we use overtime payment so how much we will just pay the person like equals to regular pay uh, our target is not regular our target is pay day wage so I just write your h9 divide by time and the time we just use our 8 hour format multiply by our overtime which is our g9 and multiply by half 1.5 which means greater than 1 1.5 and then you can see here the formula in which we just use here the 1.5 times the all over times value and then just press your enter so he will get or the person will get the total overtime now just scroll down so he will get the overtime payment according to the overtime now just using here sum function and just make both sums and then just scroll down so we will get the total payment which includes a regular payment and overtime payment now for the person like Steven Mark, we just use sum for his total basic salary. Now just I scroll down all and just press your enter so he will get the total basic salary. And now his total overtime for overtime I again use sum function bracket open and again use overtime total pay close bracket and enter for his overtime. Now for the net pay which includes overtime and basic i use some basic plus overtime wage and enter so he will get the total salary this is all how we just made a simple function here thank you for all watching us please like and subscribe our channel thank you